Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. The lowly servant here. Welcome to my channel. Today is October 8, Thursday of the 27th week in Ordinary Time. The Gospel said, Ask and you will receive, seek and you will find, knock and the door will be opened to you. Let's have a listen and reflect on it after. But first, The first reading is from the book of the Galatians. O oh, stupid Galatians! Who has bewitched you? Before whose eyes Jesus Christ was publicly portrayed as crucified? I want to learn only this from you. Did you receive the Spirit from works of the law? Or from faith in what you heard? Are you so stupid? After beginning with the Spirit, are you now ending with the flesh? Did you experience so many things in vain, if indeed it was in vain? Does, then, the one who supplies the Spirit to you, and works mighty deeds among you, do so from works of the law, or from faith in what you heard? Responsorial Psalm Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, He has come to His people. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, he has come to his people. Through his holy prophets he promised of old, that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, he has come to his people. He promised to show mercy to our fathers, and to remember his holy covenant. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, he has come to his people. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight, all the days of our life. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, He has come to His people. Alleluia, Alleluia. Open our hearts, O Lord, to listen to the words of Your Son. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to His disciples, Suppose one of you has a friend, to whom he goes at midnight and says, Friend, lend me three loaves of bread. For a friend of mine has arrived at my house from a journey, and I have nothing to offer him. And he says in reply from within, Do not bother me, the door has already been locked, and my children and I are already in bed. I cannot get up to give you anything. I tell you, if he does not get up to give him the loaves, because of their friendship, he will get up to give him whatever he needs. Because of his persistence, and I tell you, ask and you will receive, seek and you will find, knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks, receives, and the one who seeks, finds, and to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. What father among you would hand his son a snake when he asks for a fish? or hand him a scorpion when he asks for an egg. If you then, who are wicked, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will the Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? Reflection Ask and you will receive. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. God wants us to verbally ask him for what we need. He already knows what we need. He already knows what He will give us. But by verbally sounding off what we want, we will be able to acknowledge to ourselves that this is what we are asking. Sometimes when we verbally say it, we might realize that this is really not for us. Perhaps when we voice it out, we realize that this other thing is more important than what we originally ask for. By saying it out loud or in our minds, 
we are being given a chance to reconsider our position. Do we really need anything? Or what we have is enough? If because of our musings, we realize that what we have, the excess that we have, might be given to those who would need it more. Just a thought for us to ponder. That's the end of my reflection. Subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell, so you won't miss out on my next upload. Be safe and always keep God in your hearts. Peace to all.